In this video, we're going to be allocating service department costs using the step down method. We've already analyzed the whole question, so we're just going to jump right into it. Our question number two, if the step down method is used, what method can the company use to rank the service departments? The step down method starts with one service department and then steps down to the next service department. So there has to be a way that we can decide whether we should use human resources first or information technology first. There are a number of ways to decide which service department should be allocated first. The first method is to allocate the costs of the service department with the highest direct costs first. In this case, human resources would be allocated first because human resources has direct costs of $340,000. That's higher than information technology at only $250,000. Although the use of the highest cost is the simplest method to rank the service departments, it doesn't capture the use of resources by one service department of another, and therefore, it's not the one that's preferred. Let's look at the next method. The second method is to allocate the costs of the service department with the highest percentage of services provided to other service departments. In this case, we have to do a calculation to determine the use of one service department by another. First, Calculate a total for each row, excluding the numbers you've already crossed off. So the total for the HR driver is 42. And the total for the IT driver is 2,830. Now that we've got that, we can calculate the percentage of use for each service department. If I take 4 and divide it by 42, I get a percentage, 9.5. This means that IT uses 9.5% of the services provided by HR based on the driver. Remember, we're looking at what IT uses of human resources, 9.5%. Now we can take the 650 divided by the 2830 and we get 23%. This means that 23% of IT's resources are consumed by human resources. You can see that human resources uses more of IT than IT uses human resources. Based on this method, we should allocate IT cost first. IT is ranked above human resources. You can see that which service department we should rank first has totally changed between the two methods. The first recommended the allocation of HR first, and this second method ranks IT first. If we use this second method, what is the simplest way to remember which department to rank first and therefore allocate first? Because students get confused. It's easy. Do the calculation and write the percentages in the same box as the number you use to calculate the percentage. Choose the highest percentage, 23, move to the front, and we now know that IT has to be allocated first. This is the second method we can use to rank the service departments. Let's look at the third. The third and final method that we can use to rank which service department to allocate first is based on a combination of both of the previous methods. Take the percentage you just calculated and multiply it by the total of the direct costs for that department. Now, often what students do is they'll take the 23% and they'll multiply it by the 340,000, but 23% refers to IT's costs, so that would be wrong. Instead, the 23% has to be multiplied by the IT total, and the 9.5% has to be multiplied times the human resource total. Again, I highly recommend that you write the numbers underneath or inside the box. 9.5% multiplied by the total of HR direct costs, 340,000, is equal to 32,381. Now again, why did I use HR's direct costs of 340,000 when 9.5 is under the IT column? That's because the percentage is recognizing how much IT uses the resources of the HR department. That's why I have to multiply it times HR's 340,000. Now I'm going to take the 23% and I'm going to multiply it times the 250,000 and you're going to see the total is 57,420. This is recognizing how much human resources uses IT. So again, similar to the last method, take the largest number, move to the front, and this 
is what should be ranked first and allocated first. In this case, as previously, IT has to be allocated first. Of the three methods that we've just demonstrated, which is better for ranking service department costs that should be allocated first when using the step-down method? This is a matter for professional judgment. A decision has to be made on how to rank service departments, and that decision must be made on some justifiable basis. Using your professional judgment to decide which method would work best for the company you work for has to be decided looking at that environment. Remember that the purpose of ranking is to recognize which service department uses the services of the other service departments the most. Given that, the best method will be the one that also recognizes that requirement. We're going to use this ranking method right here. We're going to rank IT before human resources, and we're going to apply the step-down method.